Have you ever felt lost, adrift, not really going anywhere in your life, weighed down by difficult thoughts, feelings and emotions, struggling with depressing thoughts about not being good enough, anxious thoughts about all the things that are going to go wrong in the future, regrets, worries, painful emotions like sadness, anger, guilt, shame. Have you ever felt that way? It's a bit like this. It's a bit like all those painful thoughts and feelings are monsters. The depression monster, the anxiety monster, the anger monster. And you are adrift out at sea in a boat. And the monsters are beneath the deck. And they've made a deal with you. They've made a deal that as long as you keep the boat drifting aimlessly out at sea, not going anywhere, they'll stay beneath the deck of the boat so you don't have to see them. But the problem is, you're missing out on life. You want to head towards the shore. There's all these adventures there, all these things you want to do, all these important life goals. And so you put your hands on the tiller and you start heading towards the shore, pursuing your values towards important life goals. And the moment you do that, these monsters come rushing up from beneath the deck. Your anger, your anxiety, your sadness, your not good enough stories, all of those thoughts about how you've screwed up and how hopeless your life is and so forth. And they gather around you and they start screaming and shouting at you, which is terrifying. So what are you supposed to do? Now, if you put your hands on the tiller and head back out to sea, the monsters will disappear beneath the boat again. So there'll be a sense of relief. But now you're drifting aimlessly out at sea. You're missing out on life. So what do you need to do? What you need to do is put your hands on the tiller and keep heading towards the shore. The monsters will roar and bellow and shout and scream, but they have no power to physically harm you. It's impossible. They cannot physically harm you in any way. Your emotions, thoughts and feelings can't physically hurt you. All of their power lies in intimidation. If you believe what they tell you they're going to do, they tell you they're going to rip you to shreds, they tell you the boat's going to smash, they tell you your life is over, they tell you that you're a loser and you're hopeless, and if you buy into that stuff, then they've got lots of power. But if you don't buy into all of their threats and intimidations and stories, they lose their power. So keep your hands on the tiller, sailing towards the shore, pursuing your values towards your life goal. And you let all of those difficult thoughts, feelings and emotions gather around you doing their monster stuff. And interesting things start to happen. You start to get a look at these thoughts and feelings in broad daylight. You start to see that these monsters are nowhere near as big as you thought they were. They are nowhere near as scary as you thought they were. They're still ugly. They don't turn into cute, pink, fluffy little <laughs> bunny rabbits. They're still ugly, but they're no longer scary. They lose their power. As they lose their power, some of them disappear. Some of them hang around and some new ones appear. You get new monsters saying, you know, when you get to shore, there'll be other monsters ready to eat you. You'll fail. You'll screw it up. Your boat will smash on the rocks. And you let all of those monsters do their stuff as you keep your hands on the tiller, sailing towards the shore, pursuing your values towards important life goals, and you let the monsters do their stuff and you expand your awareness. You notice there's much more here right now than just these monsters. There's a whole boat here. There's a whole sky here. There's a whole sea here. There's fish dancing in and out of the water. There's mermaids on the rocks. There's beautiful sunshine breaking through the clouds and you appreciate the whole thing as you continue living your values, pursuing important life goals, hands on the tiller.